Hello everyone. I'm going to do a quick video today about Charlie Adelson's deposition and in this deposition he has claimed his innocence concerning the Dan Markell murder and I definitely think that this is newsworthy information and this is the deposition that he took last month December of 2021 for his disability insurance claim. And I want to share this with you because I think it's important that you guys know that he is on record claiming his innocence. And I'm sure that this is against his lawyer's advice. So, so I'm on page 79 of this deposition. And this is the case against Berkshire Life Insurance for his disability, which he claims that he has pulled his back out. And this is part two. I'm going to organize these into parts because this is a... 400 page deposition and there's a lot of information in here guys and I definitely think that you should know about. So the part where I left off, Charlie was talking about what actually caused his injury, forced him to seek out this disability insurance. They were asking Charlie about his medications and he's taken a variety of medications but I won't go into it. They asked who he shared this story with when he got back from his injury he didn't want to share what had happened. He didn't want to talk about it because of liability. And he was a dentist at the time pulling teeth. And he talks about a Dr. Kaufman. And he did work at Dr. Kaufman's office as a periodontist. And then they ask Charlie some leading questions. Why did you stop working there? And he says he stopped working there in 2016 because she'd seen some things on TV and she wanted to suspend the relationship until this was over. And she saw that I had nothing to do with it. And I assured her and I said, listen, I had nothing to do with any of the stuff you're seeing on TV and don't even watch TV. So I can't tell you, you know, comment on it. I'm not even allowed to comment on it other than to tell you that I'm innocent. It's the first time in this deposition he says he's innocent. So he said that they parted ways because she was getting harassed by reporters at her dental practice in 2016. This must have been right after Catherine was arrested. You know, they're asking him, referring to the reports about your brother-in-law murder, correct? And he said, you know, I haven't watched what you're talking about. I just told her it was a blanket answer that I had nothing to do with it. I can't talk to you about it. He says she understood. They asked the question, right, but so her concerns, whatever she had seen about you being mentioned, you know, in some fashion with the connection with the murder investigation of your brother-in-law, fair? Charlie says, I believe she was getting harassed. They're, they're kind of asking Charlie a lot of leading questions, and I'm surprised that he's answering these. So they're asking about the reporter that was investigating Dan Markell's murder. And he said that, and Charlie said that the reporter was calling the office. And so Charlie says he never goes on the computer. He never looks himself up to see if his picture was on their website. And they ask him if, if his uh, periodontist picture was on their website. He says he never looks himself up. They ask if Charlie and yeah, they're asking about his relationships with dentists around town, kind of like his relationships and his, I guess, his reputation. And he said he's not seeing any of his patients at her office since June. They ask if that's correct. And he says, no, she would communicate with me and send them down. But we all know that the Adelson Institute is, in fact, closed. So he's trying to kind of mend his relationship, in my opinion, in this in this deposition. So they just kind of reiterate that Dr. Kaufman suspended the relationship because of the speculation surrounding the investigation ongoing. So Charlie just goes on to say that all these, a lot of these relationships kind of die off and that he doesn't think it has anything to do with the, the murder of Dan Markell and the speculation. He just says sometimes the practices are sold to other corporations. They ask Charlie if the conversation with Mrs. Kaufman was dramatic about the people harassing her. And I think Charlie said something like she was crying or that she wanted to have him back once all this was over. And that was, of course, about five years ago. So obviously he hasn't been back. The thing that I'll end this video on today is that Charlie says, I maintain my position that I've always been innocent.
So I'm gonna leave it at that for today's video, you guys. I just am so, so glad that you guys are continuing to watch this case unfold. I know that sometimes it seems like there's no new news, but I think this is very newsworthy and there's definitely more information rolling out. I'm kind of just in awe of how this case is going and let's just keep continuing on finding answers and the truth. And thank you guys so much for listening, liking and subscribing. Have a wonderful day and stay tuned for more videos about Wendy's book and the Catherine McManua trial updates. Have a wonderful day.